What up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to another episode of Adam Crash Dacast. You know, um, I've been kind of absent this week. Um, you know, life just got in the way again. You know, people want too much of my time. You know, hey, do this. You know, come and do this. Let me come and do that. You know, come and help me out with this. Help me out with that. I'm like, fuck that. You know, excuse my language, but again, fuck that. Man, I got my own, you know, life to live. My own shit to do, you know. I was wanting to make another um, video, but, you know, that got in the way, of course. But, hey, I'm back at it. And I'm going to be honest. I literally had no idea what I wanted to do uh, for this next episode. Um, so I just went ahead and, uh, figured when in doubt, you know, pour shit out. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, you know, Porsche is pretty hot anyway. Um, especially when it comes to all, all facets of diecast, um, not just hot wheels, but hot wheels has especially been getting, uh, the, the real Porsche love lately. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get cracking, y'all. So, yeah. Um, oops. Yeah, um, I wanted to talk uh, about this one. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh, this is the 96 Porsche Carrera. Basically a 911. Uh, a 993, a 911. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, most people, they prefer the GT2. The, nine, the 993 GT2. That's a pretty cool casting, too. Uh, very well done enough. But anyway, you know, people go crazy over that one. But I tend to prefer this this casting, the 96 Carrera. For me, you know, it's just a little bit more um, laid back, a little bit more, you know, cool, calm, and collected. That's what I like about it. But still, at the same time, it has you know, uh, a crazy amount of detail to it. So, yeah, uh, this is one that i actually been working on um, as far as my custom projects. You can see that in my customs uh, episode if you hadn't uh, yet. But, yeah, this blue one is pretty nice with the white wheels, uh, the white PR5s. You got both front and rear um, treatment right there, uh, which you know people love. Even on basic main lines. That was my dog in there, uh, sneezing. <laughs> well, one of them anyway. In the other room. Yeah, we'll just leave that right there. Let's talk about this yellow one. Not really a big fan of all black wheels. But, you know, uh, there's something about these all black um, lace wheels that I kind of dig. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera too good, but, you know, it's there. So, this is pretty nice yellow. Uh, very sparkly. It's definitely better than just, you know, flat yellow. Front. Rear. Yeah, that looks good, too. And now, uh, for this white one. Probably my favorite one out of all of them. I don't know. I like these gray PR5s to go with the pearl white. Well, uh, not pearl white, but, you know, uh, just basic, you know, flat white. But it looks good. You know, it's okay. Front. Rear. Uh, even though the, the back's kind of, the taillight's kind of, you know, a little wonky right there. Uh, I do like this tan interior goes really good with the this white right here 
So yeah, uh, this would be my favorite. And then uh, we can move on to the next castings, which is uh, these, the uh, the 930 fold turbo RSR. Yeah, everybody was all over this casting when it first came out back in uh, 2014, I believe, 2015. Uh, yeah, still pretty nice. These two are actually my favorite ones, uh, still to this day, uh, the two original releases. The one in the orange, which was the very first uh, release, and then this black one. But I have to say, uh, out of both of these, I, my favorite would have to be this black one. Because, you know, it's got the uh, the metal flake uh, black right here. And it also has these gold uh, lace wheels. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for gold lace wheels. Uh, gives me that VBS vibe. You know, that old school BBS, you know, uh, Steve's, you know. Yeah, that looks very classy. But I still like this orange one too, though. But the black one, you know, it, it just wins for me. Uh, front. Nothing on the rear, though, but that's okay. Yeah, this casting still looks pretty good. And yeah, you got the roll cage right in the the roll bar in the back. And then you got these uh these tanks. I believe uh nitrous tanks, uh nitrous oxide tanks. Uh somebody'll fill me in. And yeah, you got these little mirrors right here. Uh you can see it better on these on this orange one. You know, these are the kind of mirrors that I like on 164th scale die cast. I actually don't like the ones that stick out. Because when you drop it, you know, the first thing that the paint chips off of is the mirrors. If people, some people, they just go a little too crazy over mirrors uh, on Hot Wheels. It's not a big deal to me. But anyway, um, I guess I could move on. But yeah. This is a gorgeous casting. Uh, if you ain't got one already, I would highly recommend picking one up. Especially if you're a big Porsche fan like I am. And now, uh, we move on to the Magnus Walker 911. The 71 uh, Porsche 911. Magnus, Magnus Walker version. Now this particular one, it comes from the the door slammer set uh, from Car Culture. So yeah, this is a a premium version of this casting. I used to have the the basic mainline ones when it first came out uh, back a few years ago. Uh, ended up selling those uh, because I had gotten out of collecting. You know, but anyway, I'm back into it. Uh, I'm back into it full stop. Uh, and I'm, yeah, this is pretty nice. I wish um, all of them could be done with the metal base, of course. Not only because, you know, it makes the car heavier more premium looking but you know it just makes it look less cheap the plastic the plastic bumpers is just a little too cheap for me even though you know it's only supposed to cost one dollar uh the mainline version anyway uh but yeah this is the front and this is the rear Porsche on there Magnus Walker for Urban Outlaw. Yeah, um, I also got the RLC uh, Magnus Walker, but that's the 964. Uh, that's what that casting is. Uh, 
But yeah, um, that was more like a late 80s, early 90s, uh, 9-11. That RLC one that I got. Um, watch that video if you hadn't already as well. Um, so yeah, this is the Magnus right here. Oh yeah, you got the... This is my Porsche Carrera GT. Um, I could I, I could have uh, looked in my other jammers to pull some more of these out, but you know, I just make do with this one. Uh, since they were in the same jammers, all these cars I'm uh, put out. This is pretty nice. Uh, this back end it simulates the mesh, uh, the vents right there on the on the engine this this was actually one of my favorite cars uh back when the real one first came out i believe i thought this was a gorgeous car you know the only thing i would have uh done differently on this casting was uh had do one without a roof even though it looks good right here it just this car just looks more like a truck uh, with the roof up. And then I would have uh, done one. I wouldn't have done one with these uh, these big ass wheels in the rear. But you know it is what it is. But you know the, the car still looks good though. They still did a decent enough job with this casting. You got the front. With the headlights, you know, that one's a little off center on the left side. But then you got the um you got the tail lights with the Carrera GT uh emblem. If you can look carefully enough, look closely enough. So there that goes. I really like the gray this gray one with the uh burgundy red interior. That looks very nice. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, got a little blurry on me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this one is dope. The Carrera GT, folks. And for our, for our last casting of tonight, um, this is my Porsche 356 Speedster. This is the one that I bought... Uh, some years ago at Walmart, um, in the, with the Team Transport series, um, it came with the Volkswagen hauler. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. yeah, um, but I don't have that. I do have that hauler uh, still. I was planning on selling it. You know, I just don't. I'm just not really a big Volkswagen fan, to be honest. Especially when it comes to the trucks and the buses. I don't collect none of them at all. Um, there's only very few Volkswagens that I would collect. Um, but those are too few and far between. They're just a little too dorky for me. Uh, sorry. But anyway. Um, really like this Porsche right here. Super clean, super classic. Uh, really like the stance on it. Really low. Without being too ridiculously low. You got 356 on here. Um, again, this is a Magnus Walker cast uh, version right here. You can see that badge on the front fender. Yeah, this is very nice. Um, I do have the... I do have the... Um, the Forza Motorsport version. In the in the baby blue. Might have to bust that out sometime too. It's got Outlaw right here with 356 mag on the license plate. California tags. 
I really like how they did this, uh, the hood and the, uh, the back end right there, the engine cover. Really like how they colored that up. They, they did that two tone with the stripe right there. It almost gives it a bit of a Herbie vibe. So yeah, um, oh yeah, this interior is very nice too. You got the gauges, if you can see carefully enough. It even got some pedals on the floor. So yeah, um, this is my Porsche uh, 356 Speedster. So anyway, uh, that just about does it for today's episode. Uh, well, tonight's episode anyway. Um, this is not all the Porsches that I have. Uh, trust me, I got way more than this. Got way more than this. So anyway, um, excuse the silence. I just want to thank y'all for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, um, take a look at my other videos. Um, uh, get some views up on those. Uh, yeah, I'm really needing some more views on my videos. And you know, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. You will not regret it, you know, or at least, you know, just put a like on my channel. Um, and if you feel compelled to do so, please leave a comment down below. So anyway, I'm out, y'all. Bye-bye.